What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Oudstoppenel. My name is Martin and today I am taking a quick look at this BMW 330e Stage 1 tuned and this might be like a leap into the future because this is what an M340e would be like I guess and it also looks a bit like that because we have the M Sport brakes we have a beautiful what is it Dravid grey and some black body panels it's a really beefy looking car it's a bit like an M340i so we also have the rear spoiler in black really good dual exhaust with a black diffuser looks really good i think the g20 g21 3 series is the best looking 3 series ever made they really really nailed it there is a lot of controversy when it comes to BMW styling 2022 but I think the 3 and the 5 series are still just little BMW gems and have timeless and classic styling. Now underneath here we have the B48 330i drivetrain. Uh, well, the IC internal combustion engine. There have been 330e's with this engine and with the 320i engines so that's a big big difference because the tuning potential with these engines is a lot more so beware of that if you want to get a 330e after watching this video and tune it because you need the one with the 30i engine not the 20i um, as stock we have 292 horsepower 400 newton meters of torque zero to 105.9 seconds but with this ecu tuned by tuning service Hausen, it's got about 420 horsepower 730 newton meters of torque so that's a big big upgrade so we want to see that when it comes to performance so that 5.9 seconds yeah we should improve on that quite a lot now as i said this might be a little glimpse into the future because I really expect an M340e to arrive at some point and my feeling is that it won't be a six cylinder but a four cylinder like this one with the hybrid drivetrain. So with this 420 horsepower that could really be it. Now it's about 250 kilos heavier than a 330i so that's a lot. That's really really a lot. So I expect it to be equal to an M340i when it comes to performance because that car has about 380 horsepower but a lot less weight so should sum up to the same amount of performance let's go check it out so in here this is like the base spec g20 i'd say black leather and the mesh pattern center console which i don't really like it's a bit boring in here i have the same interior in my m340i so i'm licensed to say that so that's what i'm going to compare it to uh the m340i and see how this compares to that so we already have it running uh and yeah this is not a six cylinder so it's not going to sound as sweet and i'm going to put it into extra boost mode which gives it an extra boost yeah what's in the name for about 10 seconds when you go full throttle so that should be quite interesting i'm going to turn on the speedo cam so you guys can see how fast this thing will do zero to 100 so as i said stock it does 5.9 seconds so let's see what this will do first we're going to use launch control yeah, we do have launch control, which is quite interesting. Little hesitation, and then it goes. Oh, this is such a nice engine for this car. We absolutely love the 330i, and with this extra battery pack and more power, it's, yeah, really, really nice. So, you would expect the car to be fastest with launch control but that's not the case weirdly because as i said there is like a little hesitation there uh, it will not 
fully use the electric power when you do launch control. But if you just floor it, it will just go. It will go full power immediately for the electric engine, which you will hear, I think. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot more aggressive. So fastest was a 4.8 second run. That is really impressive. That is M340i territory. So when it comes to straight line performance, yes, this is what would be an M340i. That is really, really impressive. What isn't M performance worthy though is the handling and the suspension. It's just too heavy and the suspension just cannot really cope with that extra weight of the battery pack. I think BMW needs some work there before they're going to call it M340e. But man, this thing will go. We have over 700 newton meters of torque, so that's that's a big push in the back, and you really feel it when you go out of a corner, when you exit the corner. It's even on just half throttle, really, really powerful. It's just, oh. you can really use that electric engine to like pivot the rear axle around you. It's, it's a lot of power. I, re I really like it. It's quite a unique driving experience. So zero to 100, this really is an equivalent to the M340i. Let's check it out, 100 to 200. Going to short shift, 6,000 RPM. After that, it's just dead power. And already 200 kph. Now that was a 10.8, 100 to 200 run. So that's nearly the same as an M340i. That is really, really impressive. For a vehicle that's designed to be economical, not fast. That, that is impressive. stock these things only do like 235 so that's also a big big gain I'm really impressed what you get with a simple stage one tune with these 330e's it's a, a very very impressive car now fuel consumption of course is a subject we never discuss but with this 330 we need to discuss it with my M3 Forge, I do about 10 kilometers a liter. With this, 16, 17, around that number. <laughs> that would save me a lot, a lot of money with the same amount of performance. The only downside is that with this extra boost setting, at some point you just get less power. So as I said, you get 10 seconds of extra boost, but even after those 10 seconds, it sometimes just won't give you the extra power, the extra boost. And I just don't get how it works and when you get it and when you don't get it. With the straight six B58 engine, you always have the big power. You have the soundtrack, you have that sweet six cylinder. So in an emotional sense, this is no equivalent to the M340i, not by a long shot, but when you just look at performance, what you get for your dollars, this is really impressive. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you at the next review. Go check out this video, go check out this reviews playlist or go subscribe to our channel. Please do so, that really, really helps support the channel. Bye guys.